Hey guys, how are you all doing? So in this video, I am going to explain you how you can add this pagination function in your React app without using any kind of third-party library or package or anything. Okay, and it will it will have these two things. Okay, first this next button and previous button, and and this thing that you can see a total number of pages, and you can click on any of that and just go to that page. Okay. And also this highlighted page CSS, and I've also added a loader, simple loader. Okay, and yeah, so let's see how to do that. So actually, I've already done the coding part. Okay, so I'm just going to explain you all the code. Fine. So first of all, I have made a post where I will save all my post from the API. Post set post. Okay, this is the function that will fetch the data as the data from api and then do the set post okay simple and i have called it on the first render simple as that okay so if i go to you can see that there is a hundred uh, post basically a hundred post hundred array so which is saved in post okay so to get this okay to to make all this you need basically do in two things okay first is that what is the current page you have to you have to find a way to measure what is your current page so like current page my current page is one now my current page is eight now my current page is four okay so you need a way to measure that so i have made a current page and set current page and by default i have set it to one so by default it will set it to one so okay and second is post per page is that like how many posts that you want to show at once okay so now here i want to show 10 posts at once so i have set it to 10 if i save it like i want to save only three posts at once so it will show only three posts okay and next 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 okay these two things are mainly important here okay so you got these two and okay so these 10 so what you want to do is that basically if you want to go to so these are 100 post this 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 is the post where i have 100 in total 100 post as an array okay and we want to go to second page okay second page is basically what you slice this array from 10 to 20 okay if you want to go to third page you slice this array from 10 to 20 and then you you map that sliced array simple so the question is that how exactly are you going to get this first index and second index okay. so to get the last index first i'm going to tell you what the last index then the first index okay. so to get the last index you will realize that it is nothing but just your current piece into is that current piece into number of posts that you want to show per piece so number of posts is 10 here okay these are these are the 10 here that is this one these 10 this 10 okay and this is the this is your current piece so the last index is basically what your current piece into number of post per piece so this is current piece into post per piece so this is exactly what i have written index of last post is that and index of first post is what if you realize that this zero is what is that it is the your index of last post index of last post is that this one minus minus number of posts that you want to show per page is that the, this same thing okay and just do this and you will get it suppose like if you are on the second page okay 20 the 20 is your in, in, is your last index this is your 20 okay minus number of post number of post is what this is 10 okay so 20 minus 10 is 10 so this is this is your 10 i hope you get this idea okay so basically i did i got the first and last index and then made a current post which is basically a sliced array of that current of that first and last index okay this one and now i've just like console log that thing just to explain you better okay so i hope you get the idea of clear okay so you get this 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 okay so the post here okay and now basically uh 
we saw this current post here so the post current post dot map and you got this array so right now it is 0 to 10 so in 0 to 10 now if you want to like show the next page we had what we have to do is that we have to somehow make it 10 to 20 i'm talking about this okay we, if you want to go to 10 to 20 we have to do this so just to do, do this if you set the current page into is equal to 2 you will get it to 10 to 20 see so basically we have to to if we if we like increase the current uh, increase the current page to say, let's say 3 it will go to 20 to 30 now if we go to 2 it will go back to 10 to 20 okay so we just have to make a function that will just uh, that will run like okay so let me show you that so so on 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 the next button i made a on click function which will set the current page to current page plus one so basically i made a function here on which when you click on next button it will set the current page into plus one and on click for previous button it will set the current page to minus one and i have also made a check that it should be like greater than one greater than zero because if it is if it is like uh, zero and if if it is one and i click on previous it will be one minus one is equal to zero and there is no zero okay so it will not work so i have made a check here is that it should be current page should be bigger than one if not just don't do anything okay and i have also made a check is that so if i am on 10 and the next button should not work okay so i made this and i'll explain you later in the part like what how is exactly it working so these two things are clear for you i guess that how previous and next button is working so let's just close that and now this pagination stuff is yeah, this this one this one to ten so for that what i have done is that i basically i basically made an empty array which is a page number okay and what i have done is that i have made a for loop which starts from one since i don't i don't want to show from zero one to ten i want to show one to ten okay so i started from one and then since like i want to show page numbers like right that is 10 so what we can do is that for that is you just divide the total post like how many post i have i have total of 100 post here okay 100 post by post per page so 100 post divided post per page like 100 by 10 will be just 10 okay so suppose if i had like 20 200 articles 200 uh, post in the array so 200 divided by 10 will be 20 okay so this is exactly that and i have rounded with math.c so it will give me the um, the round of thing okay and I, in in that array i have pushed that index is that i so basically it's 0 to 10 so if i like console log is number you can see yeah this this one this 0 to 10 okay so this, this is exactly that and now i have mapped this okay let me show so this is exactly this page number this the empty array uh, i mean this uh, array with 10 number is i have mapped here okay so this thing and i have displayed here okay uh, let's hide the class right now on click okay and and on click i have set the current page is equal to that page number like okay so i'm getting the, this page number here from mapping and then i'm setting this to page number so if you set that page number to anything it will just reflect okay and i've also made this highlighted css which you can do basically is that if if, if the page number is equal to your current page you you add this css is that this css when selected and if not then the regular CSS so this is exactly like this this, this is not, not much complex and yeah that that's it I hope you get the idea I'll, I'll leave the code in the description if you need it let me know like how what do you think about this okay so yeah thank you for watching